EFM. Today is Thursday. It's a day one, February 25th. And first, we're going to go to news with me. So on Monday, the Biden administration announced that the state education department would not have authority to cancel standardized testing, but would have flexibility surrounding the examinations. This policy de decision is a reversal from the previous administration, which allowed districts to cancel testing as the pandemic caused shifts to remote learning. The Department of Education will offer modifications and alternatives to annual tests, including pushing exams until the summer or fall, administering them remotely, and offering shortened versions. In some positive news, pro bono lawyers and advocates working on the reunification of children and parents separated at the border during the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy in 2018 have said to have found parents of the 105 children, parents of 105 children in the past month. While they still have yet to find the parents of 506 children, that number is still down from 611, the number reported on January 14th. The lawyers have stated that they believe the parents of 322 children were already deported, thus making them more difficult to track. To assist in these efforts, the Biden administration has assembled a task force whose responsibility is to find and reunite these families. They will be working closely with these lawyers to accomplish their task. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we will have some lake flurries with a high of 32. Friday we will see some sun during the day with a high of 38. Saturday and Sunday will be rainy with highs in the upper 40s. Monday we will have a high of 41 with mixed rain and snow. Tuesday we will have mostly sunny skies with a high of 34. And Wednesday we will have mixed rain and snow with a high of 43. I'm Gabby with your weather. The boys basketball team lost to Fulton. They play again on Friday night at home against Oswego. Tiger Woods was involved in a car accident on the 23rd that led him with multiple injuries and surgeries. Officials say no charges will be filed. He is currently recovering. This is most reminiscent for golfer fans and golfers in general. In 1949, Ben Hogan was involved in a car accident that left him with two broken legs after he rammed into a bus. In Syracuse women's basketball news, they play at home, at home against Boston College tonight. And in the NBA last night, the Los Angeles Lakers lost to the Utah Jazz 114 to 89, as Rudy Gobert led the way with 18 points for the Jazz. And the Jazz currently have the best record in the league at 26 and six. And I'm Tanner with your sports. That is. All that we have for you guys today, so from myself and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a great day.